Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here, and as you all already know, because you've been just flooded with the videos about the Grenadier, Grenader, sorry, and uh, update news and everything like that, I want to focus on the practicality of using the Grenadier. So I'm trying out different strategies with, uh, with the new troop, and I'm trying to find the best one. Right now I'm using the heavy and one, three, three bolts of heavies really, just to, my thought process behind this is to, like soak up the damage so the grenaders grenaders can like um like take out the buildings uh without being at like much risk i know like boot tramp has max level grenadiers and uh he's using the medics and stuff so that's but mine are only level one so i need to find a better way to do this and i know all of you can't probably buy high level grenaders right away so we gotta try we're gonna do this collaboration style me and you are gonna try and find a great attack strategy for lower level players like myself and um, what I think possibly would help out a lot is having the heavies there first because they can like soak up the damage and then the grenadiers are so inaccurate though when you like really need to take out the HQ quickly that's why I'm bringing along the Zooka so hopefully they stay alive for the raid and they help out in the ending because like the grenades just go everywhere on the base if you saw my last video and you can't sometimes they just unfortunately if you don't have them highly upgraded they're not gonna destroy the base i don't think so i want your thoughts um on good troop strategies with the grenadiers um i keep saying grenade ears grenaders and uh i don't know because i think medics would be could be a useful option as well to heal them up um i'm trying the heavy style to soak up damage because i have a lot of gunboat energy and stuff i have things to shock and then I just, I'm bringing along the Zookas because I feel like it's really needed that the HQ needs to get something to be sniped by or destroyed constantly and not just like leave it down to luck by going back and forth. And since I'm really low on gold, I really, because of my last video, I didn't really win any of the attacks. I won one, but I need to look for a player that has a decent amount of gold so I can actually do more attacks and reinforce my troops and stuff. So we're going to attack Exia again. And this time I think we can beat them with the my improved attack strategy. So let's go. Um, what did I take out last time? We're, so we got to take out the shock launcher for sure and rocket launchers. Actually, the rocket launchers we don't really need to take out. It's more of the shock launcher and maybe the boom cannon now. So we're taking out that shock launcher. That's the most important thing. Now the boom cannon. And I'm actually going to take out this rocket launcher way on the top here. Because I don't think we're going to be able to reach that quite as effectively as this close one down here. Alright, so took out mostly everything. Just checking to make sure there's no like mines I really have to worry about right now. Because with the grenadiers, grenaders, um, they pretty much are going to clear the mines deep inside the base. So we don't really have to worry about that. I'm just shocking that boom cannon because... Uh, the grenaders run just as fast as the heavies, so they like hit each other at the same time or meet things at the same time, so that kind of sucks, but... Alright, so we're making our way through the base, the Zookas are there, the heavies are starting to die out quickly a little bit here. So I'm just going to shock the cannons. And I'm just finding like, m my thought process is to find, try and find like a practical, really practical attack strategy with these guys. Um, that doesn't involve like them being a max level right now because you're gonna have to wait a couple days to get them there to be honest but all right so the group but I, it's like a tough balance though so i need your help finding a if you find like a great attack strategy with them for lower level grenaders and everything like that let me know in the comments i'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about them as well but okay so I want these grenades over here, not, so I'm just going to flare them all the way back over here, get them out of there, try and take this boom cannon, <laughs> they're throwing stuff at the rocks way behind it already, so we do still have some heavies left, I'm just going to heal up the troops right now, and the Zookas are right there. So hopefully the boom cannon doesn't take them out because those are the things that are really constantly hitting the HQ. Alright, now that boom cannon's hitting them. That boom cannon might be out of range of my grenadiers. I'm not really sure. 
But hey, we're taking down the base. Now it comes, this is what happened last time. I only had a grenaders left and they just missed and missed and missed and missed the HQ. But we do have that one Zuka that's giving us the constant damage and every once in a while the grenaders are hitting it. So I think we got this one in the bag. Um, it, it was a harder base because we had to run through a lot of things and my troops kind of split up. But the heavies ate up enough damage, just enough, for us to be able to hopefully get the win here. So it's going down even slowly but surely, so time is a huge factor I think with this as well. I, I just really want to know your thoughts. I'm going to do another attack with this same troop composition I think. Um, so I think having three boats of grenaders is really, well, uh, really good. Because they just do so much damage and take out a wide array of bases. And three boats of heavies I have, just because you're going to need a lot of them to get deep inside the base, I think. So there we go, we got a lot of our gold back, but it's going to cost a lot to reinforce here, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend diamonds just to attack again. And I'm going to go after, hmm, War, should we go after Naor? I couldn't beat this guy in my last video with warriors or anything like that, because they're severely severely under um i under i miss under a, i under cannot talk today at all guys underestimated his base but hmm i think we should go for it no, I, I i gotta play it safe though i need to get gold first we'll scout ds here 34,000, and I don't think we will lose a lot of troops on this one, so unlike the last one, so we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna barrage that shock launcher right away. Try and take that out just so it doesn't slow down my heavies. Um, there we go. Can take all the rockets because leading up to getting to the base, the grenaders are gonna get hit. Hopefully that'll take it out. Uh, close. One more. Um, and let's see. The boom cannons are all surrounded like that. I can shock them. All right. Uh, actually, it's gonna cost three. I'm gonna be pretty low on gumboat energy now. We have enough to shock though, so I'm gonna let the heavies go first. Just so they soak up some of the damage and are farther out than the grenaders right away. Then we're going to drop them. And let's see how this works. Got, of course, one heavy going for the lone residence hall over there. Alright, I'm not having any of that. Those boom cannons are one-shotting the heavies right now. Pretty close to one-shotting them. And now, now we just rain down the grenades. Heavies are there to eat up, soak up the damage. Our Zookas are there to just help constantly destroy the base. And our heavies are all gone. This is not good. This is not looking good right now. All we have left are troops on the left hand side. Uh oh. Uh oh. This isn't going well. My strategy, I guess, isn't very good. Not good at all. We're getting destroyed here. Well, I guess this is a trial and error thing. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to retreat here. No, no sense in losing <laughs> losing our two troops there. So, maybe this isn't a practical attack strategy like I thought. Um, hmm. Just trying to think. Maybe... Maybe... Uh, but there's a rocket launchers you got to worry about. And I don't have any gold to reinforce. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know your thoughts if you found like a winning combination or if you think there's anything I should try out. Because I'm really out of gold and I'm just going to wait a little while. But yeah, so I'm really curious to see what you guys think is a great attack strategy for the Grenaders. And whatever else you can come think to your mind. I was, I'm thinking like you could do uh, Riflemen and Zookas and Grenaders. You could do Heavies and Grenaders. You could do heavy Zookas and Grenaders, heavy medics, or not heavy medics, um, Grenaders, medics, um, 
I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen. So, but I guess maybe if you did all grenaders, I don't know. There's just so many thoughts going through my brain. We need to think of a or find a great strategy with them. So if you if you have this troop, um, let me know if you found a good attack strategy. Like I said many times throughout this video. But make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you have not already. And I hope you guys are enjoying the new update. Uh, I'm really enjoying it uh, for the, I don't know what, three hours we've had it. But So that's always going to happen. But yeah, hope you have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.